Good afternoon, dropzone.com. So I thought I'd do an experiment after the recent incident that appeared in one of the incident threads uh, to see how likely it is for a three ring release to seize up if it is misrouted. So here's our control check. This is a correctly assembled three ring release. It's not quite identical to that on your rig. Uh, as you will notice, the riser's been cut off and tied to a ladder. Um, the lower part of the three ring rele release is connected to a set of weights. Uh, there's about 15 kilos there. Um, and the cutaway pad obviously isn't connected properly uh, through a metal housing as you would have here. An electrical housing, I think they normally are. So, just to control check, this should hopefully work perfectly. Um, and then we're going to add in something slightly different. So, camera set up, you can clearly see three ring release working. Cut away in three, two, one. And it's gone, and the weights have hit the floor, and that was quite painful on my foot. So, I'm going to set this back up and then show you again how it works with a misrouted three ring. Right, so this time we are going to look at the assembled three ring release that's incorrect. Now, you'll notice here that the white closing loop goes through both the little and the middle rings here. Right, everything else is routed fine, just the closing loop through the little and middle rings. Um, it's not the best angle to see it from that side. Uh, again, the weights are freestanding, you know, they're loose there, hanging all on their own. Let's have a look from this side, see if we can see any clearer. Can't really see still. Uh, cutaway cable is attached in the same way as before, um, without that metal housing that sits on the back of the riser. Um, right, so let's do this again. Now, this has worked 11 times in a row now. Uh, so, fingers crossed. This time it'll work as well. Um, worth noting, it's still about 15 kilos of weight on there. So cut away in three, two, one. Not the cleanest cutaway I've done yet, um, but it works regardless. So let's now have a look at why this three ring release hasn't worked. And just to prove that it hasn't worked, I will bring you around the back. So you can see that the white cable, the closing loop as I'm gonna call it, has passed through the riser. Um, Weights are still attached, they're still free hanging, just down there. You know, that's one heck of an edit to do that if I'm uh, faking this. Then the white closing loop passes through the little ring, through the middle ring, and then between the middle ring and the big ring locks up against the riser. Um, it's hard to see, it's actually, if you just look in the camcorder, it's just the third little bit of darkness in there. So you've got the little ring here, the middle ring here, and then the little bit in there, which I'm gonna try and find something to point to it with. Let's try a screwdriver. Just in there, it's not very easy to show. Yeah, pretty much what that screwdriver is almost touching there. Um, that is the white closing loop, which appears to be locking off this three ring against the metal housing that the white closing loop normally passes through. Now, I've been fiddling with this quite a lot. Um, as I said, I've done this quite a few times in a row now, uh, which means that it is replicable if you want to try it yourself at home, uh, if you can be bothered. Try and imagine someone's shaking underneath their canopy. Granted, there'd be a lot more weight. Um, generally, what I will say is that this tends to perform better when it's highly loaded. Um, I tried a couple of these with just the five kilo weights on top, um, and it didn't actually work. There wasn't enough tension on that middle ring to lock the closing loop off. So the more weight there is, I'm assuming, the stronger the system becomes. That sounded ominous, didn't it? Um, so let's now hit it with a hammer. Uh, I'm gonna hit it quite hard. So it's a fair bit of force there. Um, thing is still blinking well attached. Okay, so cut away in three, two, one. Nothing happens.